Hello, 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 my friend. Welcome to the channel. Anybody home? Okay, guys. So, as you can tell, we are here for two more hours. Haha. <laughs> what a Sunday, huh? Keeping you busy and entertained. So, as you all can see on the screen at the moment, the lineup from both teams. Aston Villa, they have Martinez, Target, Jose or Hose, Consa, Cash, Ramsey, <coughs> and uh, Nakamba, McGinn, and uh, they have Bailey, Leon Bailey, my friend, and my brother, Watkins, and Buendia, Amy Buendia, and from West Ham. Fabianski. I don't know why uh, Areola is not in goal because he had a great game against uh, um, Man City. Cresswell Ogbona. He's back. Kurt Zuma, my own brother, my own brother, and Chelsea legend. You're not gonna take that away from him. Johnson Rice, the best in the business right now. The future Chelsea captain, the Chelsea captain back in the academy, leader, captain, <laughs> and all that. Susek, and we have um, Fornals, Ben ha Ben Rama, yeah, that is the Egypt. Uh, no, he's not from Egypt. Algerian Messi, that is his nickname. And we have Bowen and Mikel Antonio, the guy who can't stop scoring. He will score and score and score and score. Mikel Antonio, respect, respect, and more respect to Mikel Antonio. So, people, we are a few minutes only away from this game. Get ready because it's going to be... A very good game of football. Very good teams. Very, very good one. I think West Ham are going to be thinking about the game in the Europa League. So they may have to save some energy here. But this is the Premier League, man. They have a strong team. So let's wait and see what's going to happen, people. Are you guys ready? Let me know if you can hear me and you can see me before we actually start. Are you guys ready? Kurt Zuma. Ogbona. <laughs> Anybody home? Please give me some feedback if you can hear me and you can see me. <clears throat> because we're going to be here for a little while. Okay, 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 Mikel Antonio. What do you think about Mikel Antonio? Who is going to score the first goal for Villa and the first goal for West Ham United? Let's have a conversation. Early on, we had another game, okay? Was between Norwich, excuse me, was Norwich and uh, Leeds United. Leeds won away to one. And Norway City are going back to the championship. There is no coming back from this point. Two points only since the beginning of the season. Nine games already into the season. And you haven't won even a game. So they make me mad. They're not using Billy Gilmore. So no, I'm not their friends anymore. I'm not supporting them anymore. I will support them the few times if they give Billy Gilmore. Not them. I will support an individual. I will support Billy Gimo and Billy Gimo only, not the team. They are going straight to the championship. Chelsea Football Club must recall Billy Gimo as soon as possible. That's it. I'm done with them. Okay? So, players and referees are having like a minute of silence to remember what happened in the past and all that after that they're gonna go to the knee thing and after the knee the game is going to start so you have the lineup on your screen right now so happy for 
Leon Bailey to start this game. Very, very happy. Interesting to see what he's going to do. So, don't follow any illegal link. If somebody is suggesting you any illegal link, don't go there because I'm not responsible. Those people are so evil. They send those links so they can they can steal data from you. They can steal information from you. They can they can put viruses in your computer and try to get your your info and destroy you. So don't do that. I'm not gonna tell you to go there and watch illegal links. I'm not responsible. They always find a way to to go around even if you block them but i will continue to do what i can do my side right evil people leave me alone you devil <laughs> okay so we are here people let's go mm -hmm. can you just like do a watch along or find something like get a job or something instead of trying to steal from people <clears throat> hello let's go aston villa against west ham united here we go already 20 second or 30 second depending on your location here we go i'm gonna be here not only to talk about the game but also to talk about football in general ollie at the wheel was a very good weekend for ollie very good weekend for Arsenal winning away at Leicester City. What do you think about Arteta? What do you think about Oli at the wheel? Brendan Rogers and all those people. <clears throat> yeah, I'm telling you, bro, those people are so 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 evil to the point where they make people that think that they are helping them. They send viruses. All kind of viruses are going to get in your computer. And they're going to give you a number to call. To tell you, hey, you have this and that. People are trying to steal this from you. But they are doing that just so they can push you to pay them money. Don't do that. If you see a message like that, you know, the right thing to do. Turn off your computer completely turn off your computer and restart your computer it's not don't, don't click to any kind of link that they will tell you to click don't do that <clears throat> okay people we are here for 45 minutes then 45 minutes then then we're gonna be out Let's go. Any question you ask, you shall receive if you ask. Ask and you shall receive. So, huh, huh, huh. Villa and West Ham got the same color, remember? So today, I think West Ham are wearing the away jersey, which is kind of blue, right? Blue or green? I can't really tell that color properly, but kind of bluish. Score prediction, I think it's going to be a draw, 2-2 two -two draw. Leon Bailey to score. <laughs> Leon Bailey to score for for Villa. Is Brett Bertrand Traore is on the bench, right? If he comes on, he's gonna score another one. If he doesn't come on, it's gonna be Watkins to score. And from West Ham, who else? Captain, leader, winner, legend himself, Declan Rice with a goal. And Mikel Antonio with another one. The boy can't stop scoring, man. Mikel Antonio is surprising everybody. I think England are going to, to regret for letting him go play for 
for Jamaica. Antonio is a very good striker, but let's also be honest. There are so many good players in England that can't even get, to, uh, you know, they can't even get uh, to the first team, to the England man team, you know. Look at that position. If he's going to play as a striker and they have to fight with so many others, Harry Kane, the first one on the list, of course. And uh, <clears throat> and after that, you can make a case for, I don't know, many others. Tammy Abram, and Watkins, Ings, many of them. So Mikel Antonio, he deserves to be there, but just so many of them, man. Sometimes you are out of the team just... It's not because you are bad, but it's be just because the, uh, the manager need to make some choices. <laughs> he has like 10 players in one position. So he's going to rely probably on the experience, on the guys that he worked with before, stuff like that. So Antonio for Jamaica and not England. The only thing that I don't want to see from those national teams is like to try to block somebody, you know, by playing them like few games and then you don't call them anymore and they are not eligible to play for other other teams or other countries. So Mikel Antonio for Jamaica, but Jamaica Federation now not doing good at all. Always some problems, some issues going on there. But let's hope that they can fix everything very soon because otherwise they're going to miss the World Cup, you know. The manager is not that good. He's not my favorite, but I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get some people angry if they like the manager. Okay, so something is not quite right here. I don't know what what it is but yeah so you ask about the score prediction I say it's gonna be a draw 2-2 two, two draw what do you think about Rice joining Chelsea next season I've been campaigning for Rice forever whoa West Ham 1-0 West Ham just scored people <laughs> it's not the it's not the guy that I expected. A completely <laughs> Johnson Johnson. <laughs> they are dancing right now. It's not the guy that I wanted to see score, but he scored. So why not? <laughs> West Ham man. One zero West Ham. Wow, what a goal. And Declan Rice was a pass. I don't want to hear anything about Declan Rice, man. Wow, that boy. <laughs> John Stone. It's not John Stone. <laughs> A very good goal. Congratulations to you for scoring, by the way. Mm. One nil. Ninth minute in my location, people. One nil to West Ham, leading away. So my prediction is not correct because I predicted somebody else to score. But it's not. It's not. It's not totally fake so far because we still time to go. And Mike Mikel Antonio is going to score. Why not? Mikel Antonio still has time to score. So it's not totally gone because it's only 10 minutes 
or nine minutes. We still have time to go. So fingers crossed, Mikel Antonio scores today, people. <clears throat> but I know that uh, that uh, Aston Villa are also strong, and they might score very, very quickly. Let's uh, wait and see what's gonna happen. Holy, holy, holy at the wheel, people. A very good game of football so far, not boring. Less than 10 minutes, you already have a goal. So, that's a, that's a very, very promising. Huh? Johnson, not John Stones. Johnson. Johnson. The son of John. Huh? That is the guy. The celebration was good. Some kind of Beyonce celebration. But you can't really top the Mikel Antonio celebration because he will cut. He will have a cut, uh, uh, um, a cardboard cut on his image, and then celebrate with the. <laughs> We could cut out guy. Anyways, people, let's go. Any question, please feel free to ask. Leon Belly. Time to react, my brother. Number 31, Belly. Let's go. <clears throat> A throw in from Bailey. In the box. No. Second chance from Bailey. Corner kick. Corner kick for Aston Villa people. Leon Bailey doing very good so far. He got that for that corner kick. <clears throat> Oh, they played it short. They played it short and went for a throw. Played it short. I wanted them to just like. Put something in the box and see what's going to happen, kind of. But they decided to go for short. Is that was a foul on belly or something? Not even barely. I'm lying here. Ramsey. It was a foul on Ramsey. And Watkins also. Watkins also was fouled. It was like double fouls. <laughs> double fouls. Double red card. <laughs> I've seen that, you know. Well, it was double fouls and somebody got a red card. It was Chelsea against Ajax years ago. Ramsey is on the floor, people. Screaming with a lot of pain. Oh my goodness. It doesn't look good at all. For Ramsey. Aston Villa might have to change. They might be forced to bring somebody on because Ramsey is on the floor. Ashley Young is warming up and other lads that I don't know their names really. Uh oh, he's having some ankle, ankle issue here. Oh, Zuma, right? Is that Zuma? Is no. Not not Zuma. Don't blame some don't blame Zuma. That wasn't from Zuma. Dean Smith. 
is making a change. Ashley Young is came is coming for Ramsey. He's about to come. We don't know yet, but it looks like uh, an early change. Uh oh, he can't even. Uh oh, no, he's out. Definitely out. Ankle broken. Good luck to you, my brother. Good luck. Young is changing. It doesn't look good at all, my friend. Doesn't look good. Hopefully, it's not a, it's not a Achille or something. Because Achille is just like the, <laughs> the worst one. The one that Kalim Hassan Adoy and uh, and Ruben had. I hope it's not Achille injury. So Young is on. Ramsey out. That was a very, very bad injury. You can even tell. Let's go. Free kick for Villa. Bam. Belly straight to the goalkeeper. Come on, brother. You better than that. There we go. A counter. West Ham United. Shoot. No. Cross in the box. Mikel Antonio. No. A little bit too late. Oh! My goodness. Bam! Oh, my goodness. How the hell? How the hell that wasn't even a goal? I can't even explain what had really happened, but how the hell? Yeah, somebody saved them twice. Who was that guy? Villa, I don't know, Cash. Could be Cash or something. Save them twice. He clear the line the first time and then the second time with a header. Good defending. Good piece of defensive of defending so far from Aston Villa. Otherwise it was going to be 2-0. And uh, West Ham are very 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 good on counters. very good 1 0 17 minutes let's go if you have any question about football you ask and we'll try to talk about it <clears throat> need a little bit of water man i've been talking for more than two hours All right, people, still 1 0. Let's go. Aston Villa pushing. Cash in the box. No, nope. nobody at the end of it. <clears throat> Mr. Cash, number two. He, he was the one who just saved them from another goal. With a double clearance. The first one, and then the second one with a his head <clears throat> let's go are you enjoying your Sunday and and all the good stuff so far let us know what's going on people stay tuned subscribe to the channel remember we are live here almost every single day we do also watch alongs we also open the telephone for everybody to call for free <clears throat> but not on this show though not on this one because this is just a watch along but you know kind of telling you what we do here we also have another channel the green turf the main channel where we also make a lot of videos mostly about chelsea over there but in this channel is about football in general every team banters welcome we tease people here we have fun because that's what football is all about okay 19 minutes in my location people still one zero 
West Ham leading away. Declan Rice having a very good game of football so far. Mikel Antonio hasn't scored. Very unlucky. <clears throat> unlucky in, I don't know, one chance or couple chances that he had. But Mikel Antonio is Mikel Antonio. At some point, he's going to score. Don't worry about it. Leon Bailey, solid game so far. But hasn't scored or anything. Amy Martinez with the ball. Amy Martinez is a very, very good goalkeeper. Arsenal sold him to Villa. And now they went to buy Ram, uh, Ramsdale. Which is, Ramsdale is a very, very good goalkeeper too. But when it comes to dominating the box, you know, with his size, you know, um, Amy is very good. But I don't think Arsenal fans are going to regret now letting him go because they have a probably a better one overall. Ramsdale, commanding, talking. <clears throat> very, very, very good goalkeeper. The size is another thing. Because sometimes just a few inches is the whole difference in football. In a goalkeeper, you know. Remember Kepa Arisa Balaga, right? Every time. He's not like a bad goalkeeper. But because of his size. The size of his hands and arms. I like mine. Very short. So most of the time he would touch the ball. But it's going to go at the back of the net. Because it was missing like a few inches. <clears throat> so Martinez with Ramsey Ramsdale Ramsdale the new um, Arsenal goalkeeper I think Ramsdale could be better overall but the size thing you gonna you have to give it to to Amy Martinez and we have to judge also Ramsdale when it comes to taking or saving penalties because Martinez is a specialist of mind games <laughs> before each penalty so yeah very very good player very very good goalkeeper so I'm happy the Premier League this season we have so many goalkeepers good ones the first one the best in the world you know who it is Le <laughs> the Senegalese Spider-Man Mr. Edouard Mendy himself it's Mendy and the rest so you can fight for the second place the third place whatever but the, f the first place need to, to belong to one and one only it's Edouard Mendy we have uh, uh, David De Gea is officially back I'm telling you he had like one poor season but before that poor season he was like Man United player of the year every single season for like three three seasons that tells you the quality and then he went a little bit down maybe because of his contract because of certain issues now he's back back on top some of the saves that he will make you, you just ask yourself how the hell he did it. Very poor on penalty saving, of course, just like Mendy. But overall, good. So, if I have to talk about goalkeepers in the Premier League, it's Mendy and the rest. But top five, Amy Martinez might be in top five. Ramsdale at the moment must be there. Dean Anderson, nowhere to be seen. The brother just disappeared. Chelsea wanted him. And he decided to sign a freaking new contract at Man United to stay on the bench. <laughs> so nobody to blame but yourself, brother. So Mendy, De Gea, Edison, Allison, uh, Amy Martinez and Ramsdale will be on top five for me. <coughs> mm. 
Very good game of football so far. The ball is circulating very good. I think the ball position being like 50-50 if I have to be honest here. But West Ham leading away. Yeah, look at the percentage. 55-46. So Aston Villa. Yeah, so I was almost there, man. I was close to getting it right because I said 50-50 but it's 54 for Villa very very nervous fans in the stadium right now watching Villa praying and hoping that they can score before half time okay people if you have a question let's talk about the about it I don't know. I didn't check um, the bench. Let me know if uh, Bertrand Traore is on the bench. Yes or not? I didn't really check the bench. I don't have time to to start switching from one screen to another one to another. Now I have two screens in front of me. And if I have to jump to another window, it's going to mess up something that I have to restart in another window and all that so you, you won't understand that because every everything looks easy and you know in one piece but it's a lot of stuff to do behind the behind the, the scenes and i'm working myself right i don't i don't have a producer i don't have anybody that's helping behind the camera or something doing everything myself <clears throat> Okay, people, let's go. 26 minutes in my location, still 1-0 to West Ham United. Away. Okay. Kurt Zuma doing good so far. Can you believe it that less than uh, less than six months ago, Zuma was one of us, Chelsea through and through. But now he's in the past, said right. And when we are losing, uh, we are losing Tony Rudiger, and then we're gonna have to spend money again and go back with somebody else. For me, I wanted to keep Zuma. To be honest with you. I wanted to keep Zuma and I didn't buy to the idea of ball playing, you know, center back and Zuma can't do this and can't do that. I will focus on what Zuma can do, which is defending. <laughs> Old school defender. Contact. Tackles. Well-timed tackles. Zuma saved us so many times. One as three point. Yeah, you're gonna ask me, oh, he didn't score that game. But when you prevent another team from scoring, you are saving us from a loss, right? So Zuma man, respect. I always I will always respect Kurt Zuma. Legend. He didn't fit the system, blah 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 blah. But is not good for the system. That's what you think. <laughs> Mikel! Antonio! No. Mikel Antonio, man. Mikel Antonio. That brother is scoring for fun. He almost scored a very flicky, a very, very good header. There we go, Phantom of Ten. Many topics coming up with a theory here. Yeah, just because he wasn't the manager's favorite. You can, yeah, Zuma can play in, in three at the back. I, I, I don't buy certain things, certain narratives doesn't don't make sense. Because we... I almost cried to learn that Zuma was leaving to, to buy Kunde. Well... We know Zuma is a Premier League player and who, know, uh, who knows what Kunde would do. That is a good point. 
very very good point you see chelsea fan but i don't know what well, is the internet thing right while everybody is a manager everybody is a coach you know the fifa generation everybody knows everything the ball playing bs one 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 he can't play three at the back the narrative man when a big account on social media start a narrative everybody bite into it just like a gospel but sometimes the manager just got an idea about his team and certain players are not going to play not because they are bad but because the the manager don't rate them in their system they mean nothing zuma i don't buy into the ball playing three at the back bs it makes no sense Zuma was a 4-3-3, not a 3-4-3. No, this is BS, another BS, another, another narrative. You can adapt him to the system, he's gonna play good. Antonio needs to score for me. Oh, so you got money, huh? Yeah? Money on Mikel Antonio. Did you buy FIFA? Yeah, FIFA for the kid and for the house. I don't play those freaking fake games, man. I'm not into the the virtual world i quit virtual world i quit virtual world a little while ago when i started the youtube thing i have so much things to do i have so many real games to watch and analyze and learn about the game and make videos make common sense videos thing that everything fifa football manager i kind of i can play with the kid i can play just a little bit but that'll just don't i don't really pay attention to those things you know <laughs> everything fake everything you know virtual leagues or whatever i don't care anymore i'm focusing on real stuff at the moment hey mr rc from angola how is going? Chelsea is your religion. That is a blasphemy, right? In French, we say blasphemy. I don't know even. I don't even know if the word exists in English. But don't do that, man. Don't make Chelsea your religion. God is God. Trust God first, and then the rest. God, family, and then anything else you know religion that is a little strong man that is a little strong okay but how it going back there in angola let's go <clears throat> Yeah, Phantom Phantom of Many Topics he, <clears throat> he's very reactionary. So you have to understand our brother that we don't we don't we don't see football the same way. For him is about the result and about the winning manager, the winning coach, the winning player, the winning now. You have to win now for him. Because he's investing money on that. <laughs> so who will trust you when you are delivering result? He doesn't have time to wait or create a system that will adapt to the player. So there are certain things that many topics are completely just respect the, the way he sees things. Even if I don't agree with him, but I just respect his view because that is the way he sees football. That's the way he sees it. So. Angola, the homeless. Wow, I think Angola is one of the richest countries in in Africa. They got um, is Do, Do Santos still the president or what? Oh, one one.
One one people. Watkins. Watkins wanna take the game. <laughs> Watkins. A very good goal. One one. One one Watkins. Man, I wanted Bailey to score. He stole a goal from Leon Bailey, my brother. <laughs> I wanted Bailey to score, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, and yeah, at the beginning I said if Bertrand Traore is not there, Watkins was going to score. So yeah, so I got it right. I'm not wrong. Traore is not there, so Watkins scored. Good one, good one. Very good game of football so far, people. Hmm. 36 minutes, 1-1. One, one. Let's go. So I was answering to this here. My brother RC from Angola said that things are worse in Angola. Which is sad. I feel sorry, man. Angola, I heard that it's one of the richest countries in Africa because they get oil. They have some beautiful cities that they just built. The ghost series that nobody can afford to live there because it's too expensive. And uh, <coughs> Dos Santos used to be there in power for more than 20 years, right? And back in the day, they suffered a lot with uh, the civil war. Uh, was between Dos Santos and uh, Savimbi. And then Savimbi was killed. And then the country pretty much was stable for a while. Was rich and everybody wanted to travel and go to Angola because it's a lot of money over there. But I don't know what happened and why people are suffering again, man. I feel very sorry for Angola right now. But hey, be strong, my brother. Be strong. God is good. Just don't take Chelsea as your religion. I know Chelsea is kind of get away, you know. Forget about certain situation in life. Crisis. We all have crisis. We all have problems. We are all suffering one way or another, bro. But God first, family second, and then the rest. Okay, people, Kasim is in the house. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I always, I, I watch all your videos, by the way. Kasim is another brother in the community. If a YouTube channel just starting, go follow him and. And encourage another brother in the community. Let's go. Uh, another goal! <laughs> West Ham! Golasso, people! Go <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 2 1, people. <laughs> Rice! I told you, Declan Rice, to score. And Antonio hasn't scored, but it's all good. I told you, stop talking, stop talking. Online expert, stop talking, stop talking because you know nothing. The hate that Declan Rice is getting in the community has nothing to do with football. Has something to do with stupidity, ignorance, and the narrative xenophobia like people are afraid of chelsea academy and english players has nothing to do with football the guy is a proper 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 bowler declan rice my brother declan rice
Okay, now we're talking, right? Uh, somebody, uh, somebody told me that Watkins and Ben Ben Rama were at Bradford. At Bradford, yeah, they are from Bradford. Um, I know Ben Rama from France because he played in the French league. Uh, and then he moved from League A to the Championship because of money. <laughs> Because you know, the championship can still pay you good money, more money than what you got uh, in the French league, in League A, first division. Well, except if you play for PSG and probably Lyon, that can afford to pay you a high salary. So Ben Rama move from france to the championship and also to get exposure you know when you are in the championship and people are watching you right so ben rama yeah he played for brentford and also watkins play for brentford and brentford are very intelligent the recruitment department is the top notch they know how to detect talent from lower divisions look at what they are doing with uh, avin tony at the moment he came from League 1 or League 1 or League 1. <clears throat> so that tells you how they do. Very good team. They can sell their asset and still get a better player. They got rid of Ben Rama. They got rid of uh, Watkins. But still, they can't feel it. You can't, you can't even tell if they lost somebody. Next season is going to be the same because they're going to lose some of their big guns. But they are already preparing a preparing few more players to take over. So Your money is on Hammer. Angola is hyper uh, in the distance past. Chevron has a big platform, yeah. All those company, all those oil company making so much money in Africa and leaving Africa poor, you know. It's not benefiting to the po to the population. It's just benefiting to the the big guys, the president and and all that. I don't want to get political here. I don't want to get canceled. So, I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, Mokesa is saying then people are sleeping. The people who are sleeping on the academy, on the youngsters, don't know anything about football. There are those new generation of fans who came because of trophies, but they have no love at all. There's no love, no connection between them and Chelsea in reality. They came to win. If you don't win, you are bad. One game is enough or one season is enough for us to make conclusions. So they just top 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 decline rise. The only way you can hate that guy is because we foreigners we hate academy product, we hate Chelsea product, we hate especially English players because they don't represent us. People email me, DM me, leave in the comment all the time, like hey. The hype, they're just getting hyped. We foreigner, we don't feel represented. Those kids are overhyped by the media. Blah 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 blah. Has nothing. It just has to do with the hate for no reason. No football reason behind the hate that academy products are getting. Let go online sofa expert talk a lot of nonsense. Okay, corner kick for Hmm, Aston Villa. 2-2. Two, two. It's going to be 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> I predicted 2-2. Two, two. Remember at the beginning? 
Declan Rice is my hero for 50 million, not 100 million. <laughs> Uh, imagine if he was Hakimi or something. Imagine if his name was Dos Santos da Silva Tavares da 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 da, played for some teams in France or in Germany, right? In Italy. All the couch experts were going to say, you know, he's the best in the world. Spend whatever money it takes. We don't care about money. It's not our money. It's not my money. It's Abramovich money. Pay whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. When it comes to your own kid, made in Chelsea. No, he doesn't deserve that. Don't give him that kind of money. That's too much. <laughs> yeah finally I think selling Zuma to West Ham um, da -da -da -da. I'm watching the game at the same time so I can't really read all the time two minutes extra in the first half people so still like one minute to go until the end of the first half right Finally, I think selling Zuma to West Ham. <coughs> Sorry. Benefits Chelsea to secure the title because it won't be easy for City, Liverpool, Liverpool <laughs> to work on West Ham. I got your point. I got your point. But how about us? Can you imagine? We almost were like inch away from a crisis in that defense. Thiago Silva was in Brazil. He came back the same day against that we played against Brentford, right? Aspiliqueta from the international break got a knock. Tony Rudiga got a knock. We were just like inches away from a catastrophe in the defense. Remember that? So what the hell are you gonna buy are you gonna sell Zuma without getting somebody more experienced in the defense to help us when needed? So I got you, but what if we have a crisis in the defense? Can Zuma really save us playing for Western? Or we, it was a stupid idea to let him go without securing somebody else? But you know what? Malansa is doing his business. He's doing good. Learning. Made few mistakes in a few games. People wanted to kill him. But look what he did against uh, Bradford. Clean shit against that team. <laughs> that is quite an achievement. I'm telling you now. So half, half time people. Half time. 2-1 to West Ham United. I'm a hot tub, <laughs> no sofa. <laughs> you are a hot tub, not a sofa. Yeah, you are always in the pool, right? Keep it 2 1, park the bus. No, it's gonna be 2 2 at the end. So you might lose some money today. You can't win every time, man. That's the way it is. Declan Rice. What a goal. Scoring in the Europa League. Scoring in the Premier League. Scoring in Carabao Cup. Scoring in FA Cup. Everywhere. And product from this guy is incredible. And certain people are going to tell you. Wah, 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 wah. They know everything. How the hell you know everything, my friend? You never even play any game outside. You know. You think FIFA, you know. <laughs> FIFA 22 is the real football? No. Those are like virtual world. It's no real. It's fake. It's just like WWE. But listen, even WWE sometimes can be can be real because you can get injured easily. You can break your neck. But it's still fake because, because they know who is going to win in advance, right? They know what they're going to do to entertain people. The real thing, MMA, go there and take a punch. 
take a real punch really in your freaking face and let's see how you are going to resist so it's just like in football friends like many people are used they are so used to the virtual world fifa playing then everything becomes so easy for them to criticize and insult online what they say mr mukesi say here uh talking person could be an understandable but insulting and abusing should not be allowed mm -hmm. that is true true talk real talk here people so listen i'm gonna take a break maybe five seven minutes <sighs> probably get another cup of cup of coffee to keep me awake for 45 more minutes stay tuned don't forget to go to the green turf and watch more videos common sense videos right so i'll be right back i don't even know what i'm doing right now <laughs> hello my friends i'm back back again for 45 more minutes or more than that 50 plus uh, and we can discuss about other things right <clears throat> chat 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 do, 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 do. Okay, people, so if you have any question, you can ask. You have um, you have the lineup here on your screen right now. 
and I think Ramsey was taken off because he got uh, an ankle injury and um, Young remember him Man United leader Man United hero <laughs> or legend Ashley Young he plays for Aston Villa right now he's back where he started Man United bought him from Aston Villa and then he went to enter for two years with uh, Romelu Lukaku and uh, Christian Eriksen, Antonio Conte, you know, all those buying bunch of people. And even Victor Moses went to Inter, right? Now he's back where he started, Aston Villa. So this is the lineup you can you can read yourself and then the game is 2-1 and the second goal haha <laughs> from Chelsea captain Declan Rice you hit we move you can call him whatever name you want that guy is a bowler stop the hit man stop the hit and stop your ego because many people don't want to admit it because of the ego because of the campaign they've been leading for years against Chelsea Academy and English players. So the ego doesn't allow them to tell the truth. I have to be right all the time. I refuse to say that I was wrong. Ego. Egos are killing the society today, man. I'm telling you. It is what it is. You can't change the world. <laughs> All right, let me read a few more questions. Oh, Phantom of Many Topics already left. He's going on. Are you going for breakfast? What time it is in your part of the country? Must be a little, two to ten o'clock or something. You going for breakfast with your mother or something? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but Phantom is gone. Bye bye, brother. Tomorrow we have uh, a lot of content coming your way. It's going to be Thomas Tuko press conference. It's going to be also Chelsea training before, before uh, Malmo. Okay. Tuesday we're going to play against Malmo. Away. Which is good because it's very cold over there. It's better to play now than play in the middle of December. <laughs> I, I still remember Europa League, right? Europa League when we played them. Malmo in the Europa League and everybody was freezing in the stadium. I still remember. William was the captain that day, right? I think we won 2-1 or something away. But it was so cold. Anyways, that is not what people are <laughs> wanna hear right now. Let's move on. Okay. Georgino said that James support him to take the penalty if he wanted, if he would. Yeah, those are just talk, 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 talk. You are the leader. You are the captain. Take the freaking ball, give to the kid. Say, you know what, kid? This is your chance. Show your freaking leadership. Those are paper talk. I mean, when the penalty was there, he went quickly to grab the ball. Do you think... Rhys James is not a talking leader. He's not going to say anything. He, stand he stayed back. He stayed back. Jorginho went straight to the ball, took the ball because he was... When the VAR was checking, he already got the ball. He already breathing. He already... So this is nonsense. This is nonsense. I didn't like the way he acted. It's really absolutely nonsense. I'm not going to buy into that. Yeah, Rhys James supported it because you had already the ball in your freaking hands. How the hell can you... I don't, I don't want to even get mad here but because we won the game at the end of the day but little things that can make a difference in people's lives little things that can show a true leader, a leadership 
Remember back when Tammy Abram wanted to take a penalty, right? And as Piliqueta came straight, took the ball from Tammy Abram, gave it to Jorginho to score that goal. That's what leadership is about. So I don't buy into the oh if he asked if he wanted. If he wanted, we all know that a penalty you you choose the penalty takers before the game. So everybody knows that it's Jorginho and then Manson Mount and then the rest. That's what Thomas Tuko said in his press conference. So we all know that you are going to take it. But as a leader, somebody already scored two goals. Freaking give it to the kid so he can have a hard trick. But ego, I have to score. Look at four goals that Olivier Giroud scored against, uh, I don't know, Valencia or whatever. Under Lampard, four goals that he scored, right? What everybody did, everybody wanted to give Olivier Giroud a penalty so he can score four goals. Because it was so awesome. It was storytelling kind of, it was going to be a perfect game for him. Everybody agreed. Cesar Aspilicueta, the captain, took the ball quickly, give it to Giroud because it's the right thing to do. You freaking took the penalty because, ah, I don't want to get mad right now, but it is what it is. I don't buy into that. If he asks, if, if, no, you should have taken initiative. You should have been a true leader. Take the ball, give to the ball, say, you know what? I trust you. Hard trick. Congratulations. Take the ball. Rhys James didn't even ask. He didn't even ask. He doesn't even talk. Look at his press conference. The journalist got longer ans longer questions than answer. Rhys James is going straight to the point. It was a very good game of football. I think people enjoyed it. Done. The journalist is going to ask like a two hours question. Rhys James is going to keep it quiet, simple, straight to the point. That's the kind of person that we have. The personality of Rhys James is leading on the field, doing his thing soft speaking very soft voice come on bosh no sense i don't want to curse but i didn't really appreciate that <clears throat> okay people second half here we go Let's go, people. The gap between us and Norwich City is like 45 goals. That is a lot. Like I said at the beginning, what well, I made another show. I was in the other show, right? About Norwich City. I don't care about them anymore. I supported them at the beginning of the season because of Bill Gilmore. When Bill Gilmore is not in the in the team anymore. What the heck? I even subscribe to their channel. I even pay my money. I don't know, five ninety nine or something for their channel because I have to watch all the training, everything. To watch Billy Gilmore and all of a sudden you put him on the bench. Come on, get out of here, man. <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? I am not going to pay money anymore. Done. I'm done with you. Are you serious? Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Shit, here. I'm saying. Somebody need to do me a favor, please. Norwich City, do me a favor, get out please. of here. They don't care about staying in the league. They just care about money. It's a good business model for them. Going back and forth, you get the money. They are happy about it. Why should I be worried about it? Why should I really? I'm, I'm, I'm. I just don't feel good for Billy Gilmore. That's it. So the gap that we by we we might be minding here 
mind the gap right it's gonna be liverpool because they score for fun <laughs> they always give people like a ping pong kind of score <laughs> the tennis score they are scoring for fun i'm just curious to see if liverpool are going to continue that way when Salah and Mane go to African Cup of Nations in January you know or somebody got injured just imagine who is going to score goals but now they are flying high Chelsea you see why I'm very confident in Chelsea right without Lukaku Werner no problem we have other players who can score Rhys James Ben Shewer Ruben just need a goal to open his account. He need a goal. He deserve a goal. Wow. That was a foul. No? Ref! What is that? Somebody needs to get a yellow card on this one. Somebody got a yellow card. Kosa, I think. That is his name, right? Kosa? Kosa? I don't know how to pronounce it. And Aston Villa. Wow. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that was intentional that was like a wwe he's lucky got a yellow card we move <clears throat> come on come on come on fouls are everywhere Somebody else is going to get. Another free kick. Kosa again got a yellow card. So they're having so many yellow cards right now. Aston Villa. They don't want to concede. They are making some stupid fouls. Dangerous areas. And getting yellow card. Uh oh. Uh oh. It could be a red card. VAR people. VAR getting involved here, people. VAR getting involved, people. It could be a red card. It could be a, v a red card, people. Oh, 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 oh. That is bad. You know when they show something over and over, right? Red card pending, people. Red card pending. Somebody might get a red card. Wow. He's going to double check. Red card pending, people. Red car pending people. <laughs> I don't know what the decision is, but red card. Somebody might get the red card. Red card, straight red card. Done. Somebody is gone. Somebody's gone. Consa. Consa got the red card, people. He elbowed people. He elbowed somebody. He WW'd somebody. Bam. Elbow. Very nice one. In the face. Boom. But unfortunately, it's not, f it's not nice for football. It's good for WWE. So the game is going to be very complicated for, yeah, 10 against 11. Kosa got Konsa, Konsa, that's his name, what? Got a red card. 
free kick people for Aston Villa no for West Ham United <clears throat> oh my goodness it could be a very very long 45 minute for for Villa West Ham had a free kick but hit the uh, the wall that's it man <clears throat> I think Michael Antonio is going to score 10 against 11 and um, Villa need to make some subs because they need to to cope with the loss of Consa just in case you just join uh, you just join us Villa are playing 10 because somebody got a red card the red card was shown the VAR it was a yellow first and then the VAR decided to go double check and then it was clear when you start like putting those image and analyzing too much it's it's just obvious that it's gonna be a red card right so yeah <coughs> Buendia is out he's not happy at all but he's gone straight straight to the the dressing room he's very angry very very angry guy he's like why are you taking me off but you need to understand man don't give me any attitude here don't give the, the manager any attitude the manager has no choice but to take somebody out and put a defender so you can cop you can nick a goal somehow but now we have to reinforce our defense is the right thing to do don't give me any attitude here. Buendia, I'm not happy about the attitude. Guess what? He didn't even greet anybody. He storms straight to the dressing room. I think he's going to take a shower already now and then leave because he's so angry. You have to find him. If he does that, find him maybe 100K or something like that. You need to be you have you have to, this is a, a, a sport um a team sport right it's not only about you it's about the balance of the team if i was the manager i was going to find him heavily to set up a tone to discipline other players don't mess around okay do not mess around Corner kick, people. Corner kick for West Ham United. Who is going to take it? Boom. You see? <clears throat> they put Mings, right? Mings came on. And uh, Buendia went off, storming very 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 mad but you can see what uh, Dean, Dean Smith was trying to do defend better and hope for the best that the way it's supposed to be right <clears throat> still 2-1 and wow this is going to be very very tough for for Villa 10 against 11 <clears throat> mm -hmm.
Joseph C. Is because the real Chelsea captain is not there? I don't know. Maybe the question we were talking about, Jorginho Fredo, right? Why he didn't give the uh, the, the penalty and he's denying, he's blaming Rhys James now. Instead of being a real man, a real captain, take the ball and give to the kid because Rhys James will never fight. He will follow. <clears throat> he will follow instructions. He will follow the you know the rules. Okay, people, so if you want to comment in the chat, you have to we, you have to use English, French, Portuguese, or Germ German, some of the language that I can, I can at least read and understand. But if you come up with some, some sign that we don't understand, and then YouTube might block you because they might interpret it as you abusing people. So you can do... Uh, Google Translate first, and then you copy and you pass your you paste your comment <sighs> because those signs we don't understand. We don't know if you are attacking people or you are abusing people. So YouTube are going to just take those comments away or block you. I don't know. It's not my fault. <clears throat> Let's go, people. It's uh, 58 minutes in my location. Still 2-0 to West Ham United. And Aston Villa got one man down. Kosa or Kosa or Konsa. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He elbowed people. <laughs> elbowed somebody like in the WWE. He was given a yellow card by the referee and the VAR decided, hey, come up here, double check, this is a red card. He went to the screen and then he decided to give a red card, a straight red card. And after that, um, Dean Smith decided to take Amy Buendia out and put Mings to reinforce the defense and Buendia wasn't happy at all. He stormed, didn't greet anybody, went straight to the dressing room, angry. Why me? Why are you taking me off? Attitude. I don't like people with attitude. I'm not going to tolerate that. Billy Gilmore back to Chelsea are increasing as Norwich does not deserve him. Yeah. Billy need to come back. At Chelsea, I've been saying it for a little while now. But the problem is, coming to Chelsea doesn't guarantee him to play. We need to find another loan that can give him playing time. Probably the championship. I would prefer him to play games in the lower division than sit on the bench. You know what I mean? You don't improve without playing games. Wow, Watkins almost scored another goal. What a header. But it hit the post. No, that my bad. My bad. Maybe he took... Oh, I see. He was defending, right? And... Or probably he almost scored a... Um, an odd goal. My bad. But it was... <laughs> hit the ball. Hit the ball. Sorry. Uh, We want the live to... I don't understand what you mean. To watch live to watch i don't know what country are you asking for the link to watch the game i don't know what country you are from 
so i don't know what can i do it's different from each country man you know the v uh, the ip stuff that certain image that you can't watch in another country because of the internet system and laws and regulation and blocking so you might be watching one link here but you're not gonna be able to watch it from canada if that makes sense so if you are in the u.s you know that nbc nbc, NBC sport network or peacock is there like online service the streaming service yeah that's what i meant so i don't know what your country and i, I don't know what to say <clears throat> 62 minute people still two one to west ham united let's go I feel like it's gonna be two two. <laughs> I don't know for some reason. Yeah, you from Ghana, so I don't know, man. Maybe people from Ghana can tell you how to watch in Ghana. So sorry about that, man. I'm in the US. If you have NBC or you have Peacock, you can watch it. Come on! I predicted 2 2 for the game. But it could be worse than that because Aston Villa playing 10. 10 against 11. Let's go. 64 minute. Moyes trying to make a change. I think um, he's going to make a chance to try to score another goal and close the shop or something. Because there is no guarantee. 1 0, still time to go. Even 10 against 11. Okay, where well, we go? So we have some changes that is going to happen. Ben Ramam. Ben Ramam been very very quiet this game to be honest with you. Lanzini, Lanzini is coming in. Ben Ramam is out. Said Ben Ramam. Remember him? We were linked with him heavily for two seasons and the, at the end he went to West Ham United that means not everybody that will be linked with Chelsea is going to sign for Chelsea lesson learned right and the majority of them 99% of them will never sign for Chelsea but it's gonna be just uh, paper talk trending topic but at the end nothing so ben ramam is playing very beautiful football at the moment at west ham and good luck to him just don't score against chelsea please <laughs> that's what i'm asking for my brother don't score don't even score don't even try to score against chelsea you know what i mean Ooh, 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 ooh. Hmm. 66 minutes in my location people I think the game is all West Ham now and you can understand they have the ball position they have more gaps so it's understandable that they can they're gonna air they're gonna have like like 80 percent of possession 
10 against 11. <clears throat> Let's go. Ten against eleven people. If you have any question, please ask. I will try to answer in the best of my ability. Okay, so let's see. It's a corner kick for for West Ham United, right? Lanzini is on the floor, people. Lanzini is on the po uh, uh, on the floor. He got bodied by somebody. Oh, Ashley Young. Ashley Young. Well, I think it's a collision. Ashley Young didn't really mean it. But he got a free kick, though. He got a free kick. Free kick for West Ham people in a very dangerous position. Who is going to take the free kick? Probably give it to Rice. Give it to Declan Rice, probably. It's going to be better. Eh? <laughs> Somebody is laying down. Boom. Nothing. Wow. Wow. Declan Rice almost scored another goal, people. Wow. He found some gaps. Wow. And Amy Martinez, you have to give it to him. How the hell? He went so quickly down to save that ball. Something to encourage here. Another corner kick for West Ham. Boom. Nothing happened. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Another corner kick. Another corner kick for for West Ham, man. They are knocking the door right now. Knocking the door, knocking the door. Something can happen. <clears throat> corner kick, people. Wow. <laughs> That was very poor corner kick. Very, very poor. Oh, they get. Oh, the ball is still in. That is going to be a foul. Foul for Aston Villa. Very, very poor corner kick. Achadu, hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> are, are they showing? Oh, are they showing that uh, that red card? <clears throat> How the red card came about? Yeah. It is what it is, man. Ten against eleven. West Ham keep growing stronger. It's all West Ham right now, people. I can't even lie. Bam! In the box. Woo! Amy Martinez with the ball. Another shot on target from West Ham United, people. <coughs> 71 minutes in my location. Still 1-2. West Ham United leading away. Leon Belly is forced to defend now, so he can't really 
have any impact in the final third. Because they have to defend, defend, defend. The red card doesn't help anybody here, right? The game is going to be one-sided. Leon Bailey out, people. Bailey is out. He didn't have any impact today because of the situation. So El Ghazi, El Ghazi is coming on. Okay, let's go. Chima. Mr. Chima. Hello. How are you doing, my brother? I'm here. <laughs> Watching along with you people. And talking football. Chelsea and more. Not only about the game on the screen. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Two one still seventy five minutes. The game is getting so boring because it's only one side playing, another side trying to defend. Or trying something <laughs> trying to defend and probably somehow nick a goal in a counter or something in a free kick susek might be out he's not feeling good at all no ball is warming up and probably coming very soon susek that is his name right susek I have another brother from Turkey. I don't know. Yeah. He knows how to pronounce all the names over there. Like the way he pronounce like the tur the Turkish names is very different than anybody else. Because he knows because he can speak the language. You know what I mean? So everybody can pronounce the whatever they want. <laughs> but original is always original. You know what I mean? Let's go, man. 
Let me know in the comment who is going to score the next goal. Do you think that it's still possible for Aston Villa to, to score? Or you think it's done? It's impossible to go back. All right. <clears throat> Need more coffee, man, to keep me up for 15 more minutes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, my people. My brothers and sisters out there, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share, comment, all the good stuff. Go on the green turf also and uh, watch some videos, man. I made some cool videos over there. You won't be disappointed. And stay tuned because tomorrow is going to be a very, very busy day. The press conference. And then we have also like training. You know, training session. The open training before the game. We're going to play away on Tuesday against Malmo. Away. That's so far away from London, right? So I don't know what time the team is traveling tomorrow. Maybe they can go there earlier and for the jet lag, you know, and train over there. Or probably they're going to have a training session at Cobham and then fly. And then have another training session in the stadium, in the Malmo Stadium. Oh my goodness, it's kicking off. People are kicking each other. Oh my goodness. Somebody is going to get a yellow card here or a red card. Everything is getting out of control right now. The referee needs to do something. My people. Oh my goodness. It's kicking off in the stadium, people. Somebody is going to get yellow card here. Maybe two or three yellow cards or somebody is going to get a red because of pushing, punching and everything. Getting ugly right now. The VAR is checking people. Checking. Checking. Yeah. Yellow card to Lanzini, right? Another yellow card to somebody else. <laughs> A lot of yellows. Yellows, yellows, yellows. Uh oh. And Amy Martinez was there just to protect and influence the referee. So Lanzini, I think, yeah. Four now, four now, four now. Four now's got a yellow card, and another yellow card goes to who? Who? Doctor Who? McGinn, yeah. McGinn get a yellow card, and so two yellow card for. For two West Ham players because they were violent. They just came to fight. They just come to push people. It was a foul, which is understandable. But you don't come and attack people physically. You know what I mean? They got two yellow cards. Come on. 80 minutes people still 10 minutes to go plus maybe probably three four five minutes i don't know oh my goodness three a goal lasso go lasso another goal What a counter that was, huh? I think Lanzini scored it. Let me confirm it. I think that was Lanzini, right? What a counter. What a counter. And Emmy Martinez did good, but Lanzini was there to take advantage of the rebound in the far post. Bam. 
If that was Lanzini? No, I don't think so. I'm all over the place, people. No, I think it's Fornals. Not Lanzini. Fornals. Fornals, people. Not Lanzini. Excuses. My bad. Because I always confuse. Fornals. Fornals scored a beautiful goal from the far post. He was at the right time, the right place. The far post. 3 1. West Ham. Oh oh, oh oh. Aston Villa fans are leaving the stadium already. They had enough. Yeah. Four nows scored in the 80th minute. Not Lanzini. I thought it was Lanzini, but no. Forget about that. Ah, so my prediction is fake. <laughs> I predicted 2-2. Two, two. Now it's 3-1. Three, it's three, Aston Villa with a man down. I don't think it's going to be a draw anymore. I think West Ham are going to take all three points back to London. So people, I lost my prediction today. But hey, you don't blame me. I didn't predict that somebody was going to get a red card. <laughs> Brother, how do you see yesterday match when Rose Barkley or Ross Barkley, right? Ross Barkley come in with Ruben. Yeah, the game changed when they came on. Completely changed the dynamic of the game because Newcastle refused to play. They didn't play. They didn't give, give us anything. We were offering everything. They didn't offer us anything. It was so frustrating to watch. I was so disappointed at the Jodis because I thought they're going to give it a go. Listen, they started parking the bus in the first half. 15 minutes. They were wasting time already. Remember? They wasted time with the goalkeeper. Throw-ins. Or when they got a foul, they tried to, to just kill a few minutes or a few seconds. It was just awful to watch. Awful. They didn't give us anything. Goal! Four. Four people. Four goals. West Ham four people. Bowen. Bowen just scored the fourth goal for West Ham, people. Bowen just got the yellow card, right? Because he came to the fight. Got a yellow card. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that could be the VAR involved. VAR, please. VAR need to do something because I think it was an offside. VAR, please. I don't think so. It's going to be 4-0. For me, from my side, I think it was an offside, but... Aston Villa are leaving the stadium right now. They have enough. Fans have enough. So I think it's going to stand. The goal is going to stand, people. It's a goal. Yeah, the referee waited just a little bit for the VAR to give it a go. And it's a go. 4 1. Bowen with the fourth goal, people. And guess what? Declan Rice had a golasso from outside the box. What are you going to say about it? Hyped by the media, right? Uh huh. Keep heading. Zuma is having a very good game today, by the way. Zoom, zoom, zoom. It's hurt me even to start thinking that Zuma is playing for West Ham. 
I can't even believe this, people. I can't even believe this. Okay, four. <laughs> fifth goal. Almost got a fifth goal. That is going to be ridiculous. Free kick. Free kick. Nakamba. Free kick. Free kick to West Ham people. And that could be five. Who knows? <laughs> that is going to be ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Wow, so many goals in the second half. Uh, come on. Three more minutes to go. In regular time, oh 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 oh, Lanzini almost scored a golasso, man. Wow, he was inches away from going in. Martinez was beaten. There's no way he was going to get there, but he was fortunate that he was off target. So still four one people. We're still here for three more minutes plus, probably two, three minutes. I don't know how many minutes it's going to be. Extra time. And then I'm going to call the day. Barkley needs chances because that guy is good. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he needs time. He needs a chance, right? He needs some rest. He needs some run of games. And give him also... Um, some games in the Premier League, not only like against the weaker oppositions or only a few minutes here and there, but we have to give him a little bit of time also to start a game in the Premier League. Rotation is very, very good for players to keep, to keep them happy and ready for the next game. But I don't know what Thomas Tuchel is trying to do, but yeah, I got your point, got your point. I think he's going to play against Malmo though. I have that feeling that Barkley is going to start against Malmo. I don't know why, but I can feel it. Okay, people. One more minute to go in the normal time. <clears throat> Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, people. Help your brother out spread the news we are live here in this channel every single day we take calls sometimes you want to be part of the panel you can come join us for free okay man i've been talking for more than three hours today so i'm gonna need a good rest you know what i mean very good rest and some lemonade, right? <laughs> West Ham are making some change <laughs> in the 90th minute. Just to waste some more time. So, Mr. Bowen is out and Slavic is coming on. Bowen gets a yellow card, by the way. So, I think David Moyes don't want him to get the red card. And there is another change. That I don't know what it is. Yeah. Four nows also get a yellow card. He's out. And uh, somebody else is in. Very good managing management, right? Because you don't want your players to make a stupid tackle the last minute and get a, a red card. So, well done, Moisey. <laughs> David Moisey is showing people that he's not bad. He's not a bad manager. He's good. 
<laughs> okay, so we have four more minutes extra. Thank you everybody that uh, spent time with me. Much appreciated. On your way out, don't forget to subscribe and share the news to your people. Go on the Green Turf channel, our main channel, and subscribe over there too. We have videos, a lot of them every single day. Okay, people, so two more minutes to go in the extra time. West Ham 4, Aston Villa 1. 10 against 11 because somebody got a red card. Wow, what do you think of the West Ham team? A very good team, right? They are in Europa League. They are fighting for top four. You know, happy days. Mikel Antonio, my brother, didn't score today. But it's all good, man. The most important is that the team can score goals. Leon Bailey, my other brother, he didn't really impact the game that much. They got the red card. Well, the red card, you can't give it as an excuse because the red card was in the second half. But I was expecting a golasso from Bailey. It didn't happen, but it's all good, man. It's all good. Okay. It's Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka. I don't know. It could be like 99% of the position now. <laughs> West Ham. They are just passing the ball like Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka. And waiting for <laughs> for the final reason. Aston Villa can't even touch the ball. We've been like this for two minutes now. Tiki taka, tiki taka, tiki taka. <laughs> Cross! No, Emmy Martinez got the ball. Play it long, man. Playing it long. You might have a chance to score a second goal. Who knows? Declan Rice, captain, legend, leader. <clears throat> Proving people wrong. <clears throat> okay, people, the end of this game. 4-1 to West Ham United. Congratulations to them. Congratulations, the game is over people And it was a pleasure to have you here I've been talking for almost four hours for two streams So I'm gonna need a lot of rest and do something else Thank you for watching Thank you for supporting the channel On your way out, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and do the rest